Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, Stu Clark here. Uh, the other day when I was making the video on shutter speeds for the birds, I was looking at, through some of my older files, specifically the D200, and realized how good the files looked on my Asus ProArt 27 inch monitor, which is a 2560 by 1440 resolution. And it got me thinking about how uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for doing uh, photo editing videos, both Lightroom and Photoshop, and in order to do that, we kind of need to talk about how monitor resolution and monitor size plays into the mix in that one-to-one -one or 100% viewing of an image file is not consistent between everything. So if you haven't done the deep dive into it yourself, stay tuned. You're probably going to learn some really interesting things in this video. And let's get into it. <music> If you've shot monitors recently, if you're upgrading from an HD monitor to a 4K monitor, one of the biggest things you're going to see as advertised is that a higher resolution monitor allows, you've got more real estate. You can open more things on the monitor. You can see more things on the monitor. And it's great to a point because at the end of the day, a 24 inch monitor or a 27 inch monitor is just a 27 inch monitor. Just because you've got increased resolution, doesn't mean you can actually read what's being displayed because it's so much smaller. A couple of years ago, I had a good friend of mine, Mike. He kept going on about the noise in his files and how he wasn't happy with the noise in his images. So I got him to send a few files over to me and how to look at them. And to me, they look totally fine. So it got me thinking, I said, what, what size monitor have you got? And he was using a 27 inch HD monitor. So 1920 by 1080 resolution. And I was using a 24 inch monitor at 1920 by 1200. So a little higher in the vertical, but still dealing with the same um, width on the monitor. So basically what's happening when you're looking at those two monitors, the 27 inch monitor, because it's the same resolution, you're just zooming in further on the file and, or you're actually enlarging the file more. We're gonna kind of have a look at that and how the monitor resolution and the size of the monitor impacts what you're actually seeing. Um, I said I've had some requests to do Lightroom and Photoshop editing videos, uh, specifically dealing with high uh, ISO files, uh, how I noise, using noise reduction like Topaz and Lightroom, and then also sharpening. The problem is, is that if you're, depending on what monitor you're using, it will impact what you actually see. And my main monitor right now is an Asus ProArt uh, 27 inch, it's a 1440p, which is a 2560 by 1440 resolution. Beside it, I've got two 24 inch monitors. I've got two uh, Asus Pro Art 24 and a Dell 24. They're both 1900 by 1200. So they're a smaller monitor with lower resolution. Interestingly though, when I go to one to one or 100%, those two side monitors are actually um, are more magnified than my larger Asus Pro Art 27 inch monitor. When I'm looking at files, I really like how things look on the 27 inch Pro Art. Noise is a little cleaner, sharpness looks nice, everything looks a little bit better because the higher resolution makes for actually a smaller magnification of the image when I'm viewing it. It gets really confusing and we're gonna try and, so what I've got, I've kind of set up a couple files in Photoshop here that we're gonna go through and give a demonstration of uh, what you're actually looking at when you're looking at a one-to-one -one file on a bunch of different monitor sizes. So it gets a bit confusing, hopefully, um, it comes across on the monitor you're viewing it on, you get an idea of what I'm trying to talk about. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples on my computer. So what we are looking at here is a 45 megapixel image off my Z8. That is 8,256 by 5,504 pixels. The boxes here represent the different monitor resolutions. So we have 5K in blue, 4K in red, QHD in green, and HD in yellow. For the purpose of this example, we'll be looking at a 27 inch monitor. Regardless of resolution, a 27 inch monitor is still a 27 inch monitor on the diagonal and 23.5 inches on the horizontal width. This is what really bugs me when the manufacturers like to talk about more real estate. You're dealing with a rectangle that's the same regardless of resolution that yes, you have more pixels, you can 
put more things on there, but it's just making things smaller. So you really can't see unless you've got 20-20 vision and you're 20 years old. Uh, if you're like me, uh, chances are you're going to be you know, struggling with that. So when you zoom into 1 to 1 or 100%, you are zooming into the pixel level of the image that is covered by the monitor. So for each resolution of monitor, 1 to 1 is different. The 5K monitor is 5,120 by 2,880 pixels. So that is the portion of the 45 megap megapixel photo that is displayed at 1 to 1 as seen here. The 4K monitor is 3,840 by 2,160 pixels. So this is the portion of the photo as seen here. The QHD is 2,560 by 1,440 pixels. So this is the portion of the photo seen on a QHD monitor. And the HD monitor is 1920 by 1080. So this is the portion of the photo that is covered by this monitor. So to get a better understanding of what we're looking at, if you imagine that the 45 megapixel outer photo is a big print, and each of these squares was a window looking onto that print, because each window is 23 and a half inches wide, the print behind will have to vary in size to show the portion of the pixels covered. So when you look at this 1080 crop, in order for this much of the image to be, to be seen in that 23.5 inch wide window, the full size print behind it would have to be 101 inches or nearly eight and a half feet. So basically a wall size print you are looking at from three feet away. The 1440p would be 76 inches or over six feet. The 4K would be 50.5 inches or half of the 1080 and the 5K would be 38 inches or half of the 1440p. This image here gives a good example of the comparative zoom of each monitor resolution from 5K on the left to HD on the right. So in order to compare image quality, a 4K monitor needs to be viewed at 200% to compare to 100% on an HD monitor. And a 5K monitor needs to be viewed at 200% compared to a QHD monitor at 100%. Now, depending on how large your monitor is, you'll be looking at a different size image. So I'll post a chart at the end showing how different monitor sizes display at one to one. So where things get interesting is when you look at a lower megapixel image from a 24 megapixel full frame photo in comparison to these images. When I bought my Z8, I also updated my main monitor to the 1440p ASUS ProArt. I noticed how many of my images look cleaner and was blown away with how great the Z8 looked at high ISO. But as I've dove into this video, I realized a lot of what I was seeing in regards to lower noise is the simple fact that the 1440p is not zooming in as far as a 1080 monitor, even when comparing the 27 inch 1440 to a 24 inch HD. And I must say, I really like how the images look not zoomed in as far. So where things get interesting is when you look at the lower megapixel image from a 24 megapixel full frame photo in comparison to the zoom level on the QHD. So let's take a look at the 24 megapixel 6000 by 4000 pixel image viewed in the same way. So the 1080 HD image will be like looking through the window at a 73.4 inch print. The QHD 1440p is like looking at a 55 inch print. The 4K is like looking at a 36.7 inch print and the 5K is like looking at a 27.5 inch print. We all know that lower megapixel cameras are better at high ISO. The larger pixels look cleaner in low light situations, especially in regards to video. But we are talking about photos here and photo editing and how much of that is simply that we are not zooming in as much when viewing at one to one. As I stated earlier, I really like my, that my QHD 1440p monitor because it makes my images look cleaner by not zooming in as much. But if we consider that 24 megapixels and 45 megapixel images are both taken on a 36 by 24 millimeter sensor. 
If we take megapixels out of the equation and simply look at the monitor as zooming into one to one on the sensor, what is really interesting is that 100% on an HD monitor on the 24 megapixel sensor is the same zoom ratio as 100% on a 1440p monitor on a 45 megapixel sensor. So basically what that means is, as you can see from this image here, on the left is the 24 megapixel sensor at 100% on HD, and on the right is the 1440p from a 45 megapixel sensor zoomed in at 100%. And they're virtually identical. Now lastly, a quick look at 20 megapixels. Uh, 5568 by 3712 DX or a crop sensor. This one is also interesting in that a 20 megapixel crop sensor looks the same as a 45 megapixel full frame at one to one on all of the monitors. It's just that part of the outside image has been cropped away. So noise and sharpness will be comparable at a pixel level. So you can see here the 1080 image is like looking at a 68 inch print. The 1440p is like looking at a 51 inch print. The 4K is like looking at a 34 inch print. And the 5K is like looking at a 25 inch print. So let's have a look at this chart here. On the top, we have the 45 megapixel FX. In the middle, we have 24 megapixel FX. And the bottom, we have 20 megapixel DX or crop sensor. The left column is the monitor size. And we have 1080. 1440, 4K, and 5K across the top. These columns show the dimensions an image would be when viewed at 100% on each monitor. As I was saying earlier how my 24 inch HD monitor enlarges the image more than my 27 inch 1440 monitor, you can see here how the 24 inch monitor displays a 45 megapixel image at 87 inches versus 76 inches on the 27 inch 1440 monitor. Similarly, if you are comparing the noise level on a 24 megapixel sensor to a 45 megapixel sensor, you can see how a 24 inch HD monitor would be like looking at an 87 inch print of a 45 megapixel image, or you'd have to go up to a 32 inch HD monitor to be viewing the 24 megapixel image at a similar size at 88 inch at 88 inches. So this is if you're imagining enlarging the sensor and basically you're just zooming in on the sensor to compare noise from one to the next, you can see that basically what's happening is the 45 megapixel image is just zooming in more on the sensor. So if you're comparing apples to apples, that's what you would have to, have to actually be looking at. Or in reverse, viewing a 24 megapixel image on a 24 inch monitor is similar to a 45 megapixel image on a laptop on a 15.4 inch screen. When you add the 1440 QHD into the mix, it gets even more confusing because it, because it is an in-between resolution. So for example, you were shooting on a 24 megapixel camera and viewing on an HD monitor and stepped up to a 45 megapixel camera and updated to a QHD monitor. You'd be wondering what happened to all the megapixels because as you can see here at one to one, you're basically seeing the same enlarged image. I personally really like the QHD in 27 inch. I find it enlarges enough for determining sharpness, but also by being zoomed out a little bit shows less visual noise. The 20 megapixel DX is difficult to compare in this because the image is cropped, but it's basically just showing a portion of the 45 megapixel image when you're viewing it at one to one. Now when you put the 4K and 5K monitors into the mix, you can see there are much smaller images shown at one to one. So we need to step those magnifications from 100% to 200% as seen in this chart. So you can see here how the 4K 2160 at 200% is the same image size as the 1080 at 100%. And the 5K 2880 viewed at 200% is the same size as the 1440 viewed at 100%. These charts will be available to download in the link in the description and hopefully help you determine how best to view your images on your setup. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you got some good information out of that. Like I said, it's a bit of a, a difficult one to explain, especially when you're looking at different monitors, uh, not only what I'm trying to demonstrate to you, but also what you're viewing this on. I think it's important to make sure you have that understanding so that as you're looking at your own files, whether they're from a crop camera, 
a full frame, high resolution, low resolution, uh, to make sure you actually know what you're looking at when, you're when it comes to editing, uh, to make sure you're zooming into a, a high enough level uh, that you can actually determine whether things are sharp or not. Please like and subscribe if you found this information helpful, and until next time, we'll see you out there. Thanks.